Dash Reviews back here, and this is a re review of my self, of a self mock slice. But one thing before I start doing the review, new hat. Anyways, um, this is slice, and like I did in my other video, I work my way from the feet up. Oh, it's something else. I have something big coming for my next vid. The same feet as, um, the same feet as, um, Zypher, Zypher Thunder. And then the lower legs are, are, um, XT5, um, Bionicle, a really cool Bionicle. I don't re really like the rest of him, but I liked his legs. I added some little Lego pieces over here, and um, ankle joint hindered by this piece here, but the upper leg is my design, it has some stuff on the back if you can see that, one of those, yeah, some, just some stuff, and then knee joint hindered by all of the stuff on the back a bit, not too much. And you can't move it forward. That's a good thing. And, um, hip or whatever, leg, top of the leg, I don't know. I don't know. And then hip, obviously. Oh, and this body is not my design. I'm not, I'm not that good. It's by Callan Loth. He's a bionicle guy. Uh, I like him, but he's not my favorite. Anyways. Hip joint, hindered by this piece, yeah, can twist, can't go all the way around, which is, which is another good thing about articulation. Um, neck, um, head, I guess, if you're wondering how I got this really cool head, it's, it's quite easy, actually, you just need one of, you guys can see it, you just gotta shove all the pieces together. This is, a uh, hand. They're like this, you can see it here, but here it's black, I don't, you can't see it. Anyways, this is just Corroder's head. I like it. It's, 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 purist won't like it. it. It's not pure. It is, it's mostly shoving. And then I just attach it onto one of these, by this peg in there. Voila! It, it will come apart occasionally. It won't come apart when this piece is on. It's very secure, but when this piece is on, it, it barely, barely ever comes off. <coughs> he has, since these are Borok arms, connecting his actual arms, there's a bit of a ball joint in there, and that piece always comes off. Well, those pieces. Yes, I know, if you can, this is coming across on camera, I think it's coming on, across more on camera, but... This. This. Yeah, I didn't have a green or a black or any. This is the only co I I have brown. Leave in the comments if you think it would be better looking in brown. So, um, yeah. And then shoulder. Actual shoulder. Some more add-ons. And then elbow. This thing can twist around and be a shotgun arm. Ah, I kind of like it. Wrist. Yeah, this, this is a cool hand. It's not my design. I'm not exactly sure who's designing it. It uses one of these T pieces, and then you take some extra force arms. Oh, you can see this better like this. That's the piece that's in his head, keeping on. Like right there. Yeah. And then you just clip them on here, because this is lightsaber rod size. And I use a Lego gun for his thumb, and then another one. You put that into there, and then you got a movable hand. On his other hand, same joint here, except here, at his elbow, it can't go forward and back very much. I didn't go down, so I, when I like to do the elbow, I do it like this. Also fingers, this is Bio-Rock Dude's design, I believe. Just, you can see it. You can also use Borok teeth here for these.
Oh, and I give the backstory on why he's a robotic arm. And yeah, very cool, very cool. Anyways, that's about it. Now for his backstory. His backstory is he he knew how to split the atom from age five. But his parents didn't care. When he grew up, he made an infinite power source, which looked, for some reason, like a giant ray gun. And everybody thought it was because he's been psycho for his whole life. So they put him in jail. He got out with a teleporter they somehow made. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not a genius. You know that. Um, yeah. And then he grew up to be a psycho. And I'm going to have a review on his friend Deadeye coming up. Maybe soon. I don't know. I'm not sure. And when he grew up, he became a psycho. Well, not necessarily a psycho, but a mad scientist. And there's a craving for blowing stuff up. He made a nuke that can fit in your hand. Sounds good, right? And, and he loves grenades. Oh, and in this hand, he has a void that he can open up. And just reach in and grab out any of his bombs. And yeah, he's he's the he's like the technical side of the assassinery with um. Dead eye. And like I said, something big and red for the next video. At the beginning, you're not going to think it's red. But, well, that's it. X, X off.